I'm back, boys. Hey, it's been a while. I've been busy, busy working, but hey, I'm back at it. Oh, I know you've all missed me. Worked on the old Taylor Wimpy site today. Remember the one which was a mission to get to? Yeah, that's the one. Ah, yeah. oh, so, yep, yeah, had a good morning so far. What is it? Half eight. Well, so just gone out. Got all the material up now, got the baton, all my stuff around here. Gables are lovely, as you can see. Always at me. I'm going to try and get these taken out because I'm not walking tiles around this. Oh, yeah, got all this, remember this, the stuff with this green insulation here, all good fun. Old Rhino there, coming along nicely. Right, well, let's skip to the part where they're all in. Oh, nice, that's in. No time it is now. Oh, felt time. Taylor would be one of nice. They want to felt the cover all, all of the brick basically, so got to cut it just half it. Oh. Stick the bottom down, batten the laps. Oh yes. Well, there's something else you might not have seen. First time I've had to do this before. They want us to stick the bottom of the uh, bottom of the laps down. Now I gather this is what they mean. To be fair, it should probably help if you do this before you stick your fell down. But then I don't know actually. It probably get in the way. So stick. Run this along here. As you can see, it's it's all good fun. All right. That's it. Let's get a bit of a system down here. A nice bit down, across. Seems doable, doesn't it? Down, stick it down. Do a cross like that. Down. Lovely. Not too much bother, is it? There, happy days, right? Then you grab this bit, there we go. Right, I'm off now. So, right, I guess. oh, it sticks well. And you get the idea, people, like that. That's what they've got us doing. Like I say, it's not really much. You can even come along with it like that. Yeah, get the point right now. I really will come back with this again. Right. Got the old Buey. The lads working here today, so we've got the old skilly with the gun. Now, here at Wimpy, 
And to be fair, it's probably not such a bad thing anyway. They like like for you to sit. Do the setting on your gun so the nail is actually sitting flush, not not sunk counter sunk behind <coughs> in the timber. Now I don't know if you guys me personally, I never had to do this, so I didn't know how to do it. Just gotta squeeze this bit. And you can change the setting like that. And when you side one in. Perfectly flush, look at that. Right, so get you on the gun, Ryan. You want goggles which are on there, on there over there. Uh, now I've got to try and think of the um, oversell. I'm pretty sure just to cover my ass, I better double check. Oh, it's the stuff we're using. Now this, of course it should be. Just gonna sit like that. Get that out of the way. An inch and a half, an inch and a half across, right, lovely. And the reason why we're doing it and cutting it in the middle, like I said, is because you want to get the treated in on the end. I mean you can dab them after. I don't know what way's better really. I mean maybe someone would argue that just you know, getting them right here and then cutting them all up at the end, rubbing some the old treatment on it. I don't know, maybe. I'll work out what way I think's best as I go along. Right. And then, uh, yeah, got one of Mark here, yeah? Huh? Do, it, do it in the middle first. They're quite straight, so really, there and there. Do it, Ryan. Come, always come in through the middles first. So do like here, and then here, and then you can just send the whole lot over. This holiday is extra special. So I'll rest that one on there like that. Get your mark. But you know what? I do think I'm having a pot because I haven't got the pot of stuff, so. Butting them in, cutting them all up, and just dabbing them, you know. A bit of the old treatment on after with the brush. Well, it ain't such a bad idea, but I'm here now. This way you ain't got, ain't got, you know, mess about. I know it takes one take long at all, really. And you weigh it up, but still keeps them at me. Right, I'll come back when we get this side in. Ah, oh, and we're back. Right. I've got some, uh, some lines on here, keep them true. Before you blow that one, Brian. <laughs> got that epoxy uh, bat in there, tapped down the lap, that's why we've got some, that's why it looks a bit dodgy up there, but anyway. All right, it's loading time, time for us all that. Here we go. <laughs> I wanted to show old Rhino. This is uh, for, for some of you new boys who wanted to try out roofing. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> You've heard from him. You've heard from the horse's mouth. Don't do it, but it is tricky. Stick to the rafters, Ryan. He has only been doing it literally it's like he's probably second week, so put him down. Nice. So I told him to do eights for now, just to get used to the motion. <laughs> uh, in. in there. When you put them down, be gentle, don't want to, because of the felt. Yeah. Oh, obviously, you know. Gentle, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's got to go between the marks. As much as I'd want to go on that rafter there. Let's keep them gentle. There we go. Four, four, four. Well, they're four, they? Yeah, no, they are right. Just make sure when you do it, that, yeah, that, that lips, they're, they're fine. The they lips are nice. Yeah, because if you were like that, that ain't right. We you know, it's probably pretty sturdy. The lip. Anyway, happy day. Right. <laughs> yeah, ladies. <laughs> I'll come back when this is loaded. We've only got a bit of bit of time left anyway, so yeah. Ah, lovely. Right. That's that in. Rhino looks impressed. Now he's gonna taste of some pan tile. Uh, <laughs> <days left. laughs> uh, ladies people.